Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is another TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of things on how to manage your Telegram group that you already created. So if you want to watch how to um, create a Telegram group, I already made a video previously. I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can check and know how to create a Telegram group. Now, after you've created a Telegram group, now managing it is the next thing. How you want it to be managed, the group link, the um, how the hashtag work, dimensions, and how you can pin a message to your group and a lot of things. Now, go ahead and click on the group that you already created. Actually, um, in order to manage this group, you have to be an admin. So um, creating this group, I'm um, creating this tutorial for everybody that is an admin in a group and also for you to understand how a group admin works. Now click on the um, name of the group or the profile image to go to the uh, management section. So right here, you can notice more detail first it displays the name notification and below it displays group of everybody that belongs to this group now to edit this group you notice this little pencil icon on the top right hand corner go ahead and click on that to edit the group now right here you can be able to edit the group name change the group um, profile picture add a description change the group type and all of those stuff i'm going to be going first to the first section by adding a description i already showed you guys how to change a group name and a a profile image you can click on that set profile image to set a profile image it's not difficult now for the group description you can just on this description area add something very cool and catchy that describes the group actually so for this i'm just going to say So this is all I need to add on this um, group description. So I don't want it to be much. I just want to add this. So anybody coming to the group will be able to see what the group is all about. Once they click on the group link, they'll be able to see what the group is all about. And then the next one actually is the group type. Now, if you notice, the group type is actually set to be private. Now, if I click on this group type, I can be able to make it public. Now, um, let me explain the first one. If this group type is on private, that means the group can only be joined if you were invited or if the link was shared. Nobody will be able to discover this group on the search. Nobody will be able to find it um, on the search random area and be able to add the group. And if it's on public, people will be able to search and see it and be able to join. And they will also be able to view the previous chat history in the group before they would join. So let me show you guys what I mean by search. This is what I mean by search. I already made a previous video about this, but um, you guys might not get it. So you notice where it has um, nearby people, right? When you click on it, you'll be able to find people and groups right here. So uh, if you scroll down, you notice where it has group name, right? All these groups are public. So anybody that, um, when you create a group on your Telegram and make it public, anybody can easily see this group right here and easily go ahead and join it. So it's as easy as um, finding and joining a group easily on your Telegram. But if you make it, private nobody will be able to find it or search for it also when you click on this search and search for that group name the reason why i'm seeing it right now is because i'm the group admin um normally nobody will be able to see this group so when somebody searches it on general they will not be able to find this group if it's on private so now if you want to make it public and you want people to discover it that way it's left for you to decide so um that is what the group Link, um, the group private and the group public does so put it on private they'll be able to see it they'll be able to join it only by having this link and then the next one this is the link to the group i'm also going to show you guys uh, more place to be able to see this link and then again finally you can just copy this link or you just click on this share to share it to other social media group when you click on share it gives you um 
it gives you an option to share it to every social media and every app you have on your device so i'm just going to scroll right out of that and you if you want you can just copy it but let me just back out because i do not want to share the group link this is just a tutorial now another thing you can do you can also manage how people make use of the um the group invite link now when you click on the manage you notice where it says um copy the link right you can always copy this link or you create a new link you notice the link that i have right now existing now when you click on create a new link you'll be able to create a new link and once you create this new link you can actually set it to be limited or you set um, a maximum limit a maximum date and how long you want this link to be available like if i want this link to be available um between the first um between now to the first week i will select this first week but if i don't want to add limit to it i will just say unlimited or no limit so when you set no limit it goes without limit but if you want to set a particular date just click on this custom duration and it will give you an option to select a date that it will expire now let me um, click outside to back out of that now you can also set a limit to the number of users that will be able to join this group making use of this link now if i do not want it to um if i do not want it to get too crowded um people to just rush into the group um just like that i i can just set this to be in a maximum limit of 100 so once people 100 people join i will create a new um custom link and then another 100 people join and so on so depending on what you want i'm just showing you this tutorial to decide on what you want now i'm going to go ahead and back out and then back out again so um i forgot the description All right, so the next thing, guys, is actually the, pre um, the permissions. Now, when you click on the permissions right here, this actually is a permission for generally the members of this group. Now, you can notice where it says, what can members of this group do, right? It says they can easily send message, send media, send sticker, send pool, and then embed link, add add users and then pin comment so easily everybody can do all of this in this group right now now if for some reason you want to actually add some exception or to just change all of this maybe you do not want them to do this you do not want them to change um, the chat info you do not want them to pin a message you do not want them to add user you do not want them to embed link you can just go ahead and click on all of those things that you do not want them to do and then also on this bottom section you can also slow down your chat if maybe the um, group is too active sending so many message you can just limit it to 15 um to 15 minutes so if anybody's um you notice where it says member will be able to send only one message every 15 minutes i think this is too ridiculous so you can just reduce that to 30 seconds so they can only be able to send message every 30 seconds they send one message so once they are doing that there won't be too many message in the group and it will be easier to control the group that way now once you're done making any settings you notice this check icon on this top section go ahead and click on that to enable it now the next thing now is the link area is still similar to the previous one you can still notice it has where you can copy share the link and then create a new link so all of these things you can easily do them on your own and then still already explain it previously so it's very easy i think you can easily do it the more you make use of the app now let me navigate back for once more so um the next option is for administrators now this admin area since i'm the super admin i'll be able to add more admin to the group and if you notice the first option that showed what admin recent action now if i click on this admin reset action i can easily see what the admin did you notice this first guy which is the admin this is the name of the admin he actually banned this guy and then he changed the permission also and then banned another person and then also changed the permission again so all of this stuff was actually done by this particular admin name displaying on the top section you can notice the name trust part so if there are multiple admin in your group so many admin making changes you can easily come here and look at their activities and know what changes they made and you can easily revert and then um, adjust to those changes or you can um, go ahead and address them whatever you want to do so 
this is just where to see the admin changes and activities that the admin has done so if you want to make a new admin all you need to do is to click on add admin now you can only add admin to the existing users you can't add a new user and make it admin so you just have to add the person to the group before he becomes an admin so i'm going to add this other person which is actually my account now if you select the person it's still going to show you another option to actually choose what this admin can do now this admin can change the group name delete messages and all of those stuff so if you do not want the admin to do anything just go ahead and toggle that on or toggle that off so once you toggle that off the admin will not be able to do all of those things but the remaining of the things that are checked in blue the admin will be able to do all of that so that is all you can just go ahead and make all of all these changes to the admin to um, make sure it fits into what you want now if you're done making the settings or the changes for the admin go ahead and click on this check icon right there now you notice we now have two admin in the group so it can easily and we can easily manage them now let me back out because we're already done with that and then the next option is for the members when you click on this third option you'll be able to see all of the members that are in the group so if you want to remove anybody just click on this three dotted icon right here you can remove the person and if you want to make a unique changes to that particular person or you want to temporarily ban the person all you need to do is to click on this change permission once you click on the change permission you will be able to like um disable some features for this guy probably or temporarily ban this guy from the group so um you notice this duration of this settings right this duration actually asks you since it's going to be a temporal ban it actually asks you for how long do you want this changes to remain in this person's account do you want it to be forever or do you want it to be just a temporal period of time so you can just say one week so within one week this person is not going to have privileges to send him message send him media and he won't be able to do anything in the group but he is still in the group so this is just like um a group jail for telegram or let me say a, a temporal ban on telegram and there is a lot of things that um your telegram app could also do and i'm going to be explaining more of that later on but i'm going to like shorten this video because it's already getting too long so on my next video guys i'm going to cover more things that you can do on your telegram so once you're done with your setting just click on this check icon right there to confirm your settings and now back out so you notice all of the settings i've changed i've done the changes have actually reflected so that is all for today's video guys make sure you stay subscribed to this channel and i'm going to be making more videos for you guys make sure you see um you check out more of my videos and see you soon guys peace